How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. If you guys could please give this video a thumbs up if you guys do really enjoy it. Subscribe of course if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Make sure you guys hit that bell notification button. Select all for all notifications so you guys don't miss out future videos or streams on the channel. And as always we're going to be talking about positives and negatives. Talking about War of the Planet of the Apes. AKA War 4. <laughs> the Planet of the Apes. And this film came out in 2017, it is rated PG-13, and it's about 2 hours and 20 minutes long. If you guys haven't had a chance to yet, I do have a films playlist uh, for Planet of the Ace specifically here on the channel. And in there you can watch my review of Rise and Dawn. If you guys would like me to review the legacy Planet of the Apes movies, please also let me know in the comment section down below. So this film is... The epic conclusion trilogy of Andy Serkis' character of Caesar. And so we get to see how everything comes together and concludes for Caesar as a character. We also get Woody Harrelson in the film. And both of them do a fantastic job in their roles. So like I said, this is the conclusion of Caesar's journey. And the plot sees Caesar and his apes suffering from unimaginable losses by a ruthless colonel, by... Harrelson, and it leads to a gigantic finale that will, of course, determine the future of the planet and the fate of both human and ape kind. Special effects are breathtaking, and they are definitely the best of all of the Planet of the Apes movies. Visually, this film is just gorgeous, 10 out of 10. Great job to those people that were behind the scenes doing those special effects and practical effects as well. The narrative, it's intense, it's powerful, and it's just poignant. So many emotional moments in this film, even more than Rise and Dawn put together. There's just so many emotions happening, and it's because you're like, okay, who's going to live? Who's going to die? And I also think that is helped by the fact that the film deals with the moral of the film, and that is, what is the meaning of what makes you human? Or a monster at your core. So, you know, we kind of saw that in Dawn where, you know, loyalties were being tested. And, like, some humans, you know, they're like, we don't need to kill them. We need to figure out a way to live with them. Um, this film explores that, but in a lot more depth. And it shows that both human and ape kind can be either good or evil based on their own self-indulgence and their self-interests. Caesar's death in the film feels earned. Uh, how he dies and why he dies, I think, was very well done. And how he kind of passes the torch, he passes the mantle to his son and kind of to the rest of his friends that still survive the ending battle. I think how they did that was executed greatly. I am, of course, curious as to what's going to happen in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. What are they going to do with Caesar's son? And I honestly never thought we were going to get another Planet of the Apes movie. I thought War was kind of a good enough send-off for not only this trilogy, but for the franchise. I, I am curious to see what Kingdom has to offer. And of course, I will be reviewing that when it comes out. So look forward to that. But overall, I think War of the Planet of the Apes is a good movie. You'll enjoy it. I encourage you guys to check it out. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys on the next video or stream. Bye, guys.